So this is Lucas, our donkey with never-ending problems. Sexy legs. So we are going to show you the new common area. This is Oreo. Oh, his eyes looking a lot, lot better. This is Starsky and Hutch and Winston. We're going to take them out to play. I'm Emma and this is Edu. We're the founders of Tenerife Horse Rescue. We are a small non-profit, self-founded, eco-friendly animal sanctuary, born in 2018. We are run by a great big family of volunteers. And an even bigger animal family. Don't forget to press the subscribe button to follow our Thinker Life adventures every week. Hello, welcome. Um, so last night we had an emergency, sort of. It's typical, isn't it, when you try and do lovely things for the horses, uh, it can turn out wrong sometimes. So we took them all out for a lovely graze in all this lush grass, but the grass was full of grass seeds. And I think what happened was one of the grass seeds went into the horse's eye. The donkey's making a lot of noise. Um, and he got his massive swollen eyelid. So we're going to check on it now. Hello, mister. This is Oreo. Oh, his eyes looking a lot, lot better. So yesterday evening, this was swollen shut all the eyelid. And the vet came because she was passing anyway, so that was really lucky. She's given us some dye. It's a special dye that when his eyelid's a little less swollen and we can look him properly, we'll put the dye in the eye um, and then we rinse it out and it stains this yellow green color if there's any damage or any ulcers in the eye. So we could check the eyeball then. Okay, back to hiding your eyes. These are just things to keep the flies out of the horse's eyes. It looks like they can't see, but they can see through them. Okay. Next on the rounds is to check on <laughs> Lucas, the donkey. So this is Lucas, our donkey with never-ending problems. <laughs> you see he's wearing very fashionable leggings right now. This is our latest method of trying to keep the flies away from his wounds. So what happens here is the flies are really, really tough here. They're really strong and nasty and um, they will find a tiny little opening, a tiny bit of blood, and then they will chew on that and make it bigger and bigger and then more flies come to the opening um, and it gets bigger and there's more blood and there's more flies and this cycle just continues until we can try and block the flies from getting to the blood. But it's really, really difficult. Fly sprays, don't really work for more than half an hour and we can't keep coming and spraying every half an hour. At some point in life, um, Lucas here became anemic and therefore his immune system lowered and he struggled to fight the wounds and therefore they became infected, uh, which just made it even worse. So now he is on iron supplements, which he doesn't like at all, but we'll give him these, and antibiotics for the infection. And if we keep the flies off the wounds, hopefully they will heal and he can be a healthy donkey again. Does he like the... No, it's horrible. <laughs> it, it, it smells and tastes like blood, I think. <laughs> Sexy legs. Okay, so, um, yeah, we were just talking about Lucas's wounds on his legs and Thumbelina's um, protection has just come down, so you can see what I mean. It started off as a tiny little wound and then the flies attack it like this and just make it bleed again and then more flies come and then it bleeds again and then more flies come. So I don't know how to keep the flies off their legs. This is what we're trying now, but as you see, they fall down as well. It's not perfect. If any of you lovely people at home have any amazing ideas of how we can keep the flies off these donkey's legs, I would be very appreciative to hear them. This is Lucas enjoying his salt lick. He's getting all the minerals that he needs from this block. I want to say thank you very much to Sandra who came with a donation of 10 salt blocks for the horses. Blicks? Salt blocks for the horses the other day. It's something really necessary for them to get their minerals. So here is our ferrets. They're getting a new enclosure built currently at the moment. The wonderful Ernest has been welding all this together and then he's going to put new frames. So they've got a massive new enclosure but for now they're still in their old house. Here they are. Ah, this is Starsky and Hutch and Winston. We're going to take them out to play. Just checking up on 
Starsky here because he hasn't been very well lately. He's lost a lot of weight, you can feel his ribs and you see his fur is not the same shiny glossy fur as the other two ferrets and he's had diarrhea too. So he's on a course of antibiotics for the next seven days. We're just keeping a close eye on his behavior as well. <laughs> so far he's still full of energy and he's eating perfectly. So I think it's not too serious. He seems to be looking fine anyway. They've had a lovely play and uh, he's decided it's home time. Come back, Starsky! Hutch. You're all coming home now. Come on in. <laughs> okay, hello everybody. Now you have to follow me for a couple of minutes. We are going to show you the new common area. As uh, we uh, uh, finally bought a couple of months ago, the new big uh, piece of land, we are preparing a new common area where like all the volunteers can uh, then have the meal. Uh, as you saw in some video, we have breakfast and lunch all together. So now we're going to show you how we uh, build up something majestic from scraps because all the material that we're gonna see is uh, take it out from some different bin, some different rubbish. So if you follow me, you're gonna see that uh, with uh, magic coming from our hands, we can do everything. <laughs> As you see, we have uh, one outside area and we go into our lovely new kitchen. Of course, we are still a work in progress, it's still not finished, as you're gonna see some uh, uh, bench is uh, still in uh, work in progress. And uh, as you can see in my hands, uh, there is another little thing oh. coming from uh, huh, suddenly from the street because he was uh, still not alive, of course, but we found uh, his mummy in uh, uh, they, someone found uh, his mummy in a village uh, close by and uh, was lost, was abandoned and uh, they brought it to us uh, and now is uh, one month and a half ago and after three weeks that the mummy was with us we had uh, this uh, lovely surprise in a month or two they are gonna lo uh, look for a forever home so if uh, anybody of you is uh, looking for uh, give a love and a house a lovely house to a new puppy we have uh, four looking for the new families. Eh? Now we show the sink area, eh? the last corner of the, our kitchen, where is gonna be the cleaning. It is one of the favorite <laughs> parts of the volunteer life, cleaning. <laughs> so now, we arrive at the end of the of this episode so suddenly we have to close say goodbye to everybody as everybody thanks to watch uh, the video if uh, you're already subscribed well done if you're not please do it and just click a like it and even if you have one second more a share button because if you share us in you can uh, share our video to more people, more people can uh, see what we're doing and maybe he can have more opportunities to found his uh, beloved families forever. So thanks for watching, thanks for the help, have a good day and see you for the next episode. Ciao!